All right, so uh, it's coming together. Yesterday, we uh, I programmed me and Will. We programmed uh, my first pad. Uh, did it in Anna from scratch. Did added samples and arpeggiating, and it was cool, man. And then, like anyway, putting this all together, and then. I realized like I was really enjoying the MPC, but I don't want to, I don't want anything that's like standalone or that I work outside of Pro Tools just because it was just, it wasn't working. So I was trying, I was trying to figure out like, oh, I bet I could do it with battery. So I've really been digging on it and here it is. So I'm learning how to like chop up samples. So I've got a few different, this is uh, like a little, like a little loop that I took two kicks from. I brought in a, a, a snare that I, I blended with a clap uh, from Splice and just a little hi-hat from Splice just to get a feel for this. And then I took this uh, like little musical loop put it into some pads and I made it, I made these, I key group these so that when you hit one, it stops the other. So if I go here, it stops this. Yeah. Right? And then you got like, so I just, this is huge. Like this, like this is what I want to do. I want to be able to incorporate this into it. So here it is. It's just a silly thing, but it was just to get it all to jive. So this is how you do it. This is how I'm going to do it. So this is how I'm going to do my kind of sample-based, loopier, kind of funky things with the pad. Because I really like working on Machina, but I don't like using Machina's standalone software. Like, it just, I'm not into it. But I love battery. Like, I, I, as much as I've grown a disdain at times for native instruments, I love battery. Like, this is the cool thing. So, I, I pretty much basically know how to use it now. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to dig deeper into this, and I'm going to learn Nerve by X for Records. All right, so, let's uh, save where we're at. So, this is what I did yesterday. Uh, or did I do that? Yeah, we did this last night. So, this was like... I got done doing the Anna course, and um, I really love Anna. What a great program. And I said, oh, let me see, because the ending of the course is, um, oh, shoot, did I blow this one? Oh, I may have blown this. Hold on. Anyway, the end of the course is them just uh, showing you how to make a lead, make a bass, and make a, a pad. You know, after all the stuff you've learned. Oh, that's right. I lost my stuff. Dang it. Hold on. Let me see if it still plays. Oh, I blew it. Okay, I'm just going to kill kill this. I somehow botched this. Ah, just make it active for right now. Okay. So anyway, here is Anna. This is, this is a pad that I made from scratch with a waveform and added LFOs and, and I, you know, layered it and, you know, added voices and detuned and put in, you know, pulsing things with LFOs and, and, and two samples too.
He got a new. What do you need my keys for? Um, my lost sock. What? My lost sock. Okay. okay. Thank you. I bring my keys back. Okay. He got. A, I got him a new Pokemon card. All right. So, I kind of. This took about probably about 30, 40 minutes to do, which like in a couple of weeks I could probably make this in five minutes. But you know, it, it was a learning. It's funny about learning how to do this. Every single thing I try to do, there's a snag. It's always like. I have the waveform up. Why am I not? Oh, because there was no voices up. Or I have this up. Why is I not hearing the filter? Oh, I didn't load a filter. Or I'm having the LFO. Why am I not seeing? Oh, because the, the the rate is off or the volume's off over here. There's always kind of something. There's always something to learn, but it's coming together. So here's my little thing. I put a little baseline with Omnisphere, and I did like a bell thing with Serum, and then I just did a, a bell, a weird different thing with Expand and Panda. It just... Anyway, there you go. That's a month of work. Now, obviously, that sounds kind of elementary, but it's a start. Because I got the music in me! Now it's just a matter of getting all the techniques out of the way. So everything... Oh, let me shut this. Ugh. My kids have been home from school for like five weeks now. Mm. Whoa. But... So there it is. This is amazing. And now that I've got this that I can add to it, this uh, this this thing. Let's see if I can uh, make active. I don't know if this. I think this has the. Yeah. So I mean, it's not in the right key, but this is what I want to eventually be doing, right? Oh wait, let me get rid of this. Mute. And this is not out to the template. It's just stereo. You get it. Anyway, this is going to be cool, man. And I haven't even brought in my guitar thing, which has been really my strength uh, with all this. So I, everything is, is stacking. I'm learning like all this time that I've put learning the big sky, learning the eventide, learning Mobius, learning all this stuff, all this synth stuff, Omnisphere, Serum, Anna. Um, now it's all making sense. It's all making sense. And it, it's, it's, it's like all these things are just like pedal boards and just routing. It's like this does that. Like now I look at Anna. I, I love this. I love this. This is... I just love this thing. I just, there's just something about this. I love the way this thing sounds. And um, it's a little trickier sometimes, it seems, to navigate it first because Serum's a little more laid out, like a little more simple, or I don't know, it's just more uni. Like Anna's a little bit trickier, but I just enjoy this. Yeah, there's my, uh, there's my, my, uh, so I, I made a, a CMD, I guess it's like the chord. One thing I've learned, uh, 
is if you're doing things like that you got to pick up the other finger just before and you can set it to mono though or so so you pick up the finger right before it you can't make it too quick because of the way it re-triggers <laughs> very meticulous but if you set it in mono now you don't get all the overrun of the the schmutz and it sounds more staccato That's just so cool to me, and I, I think you can you can make it less stammery by using the to changing the uh, here. Let me say where I'm at by changing the amp envelope. shocked that's all i can tell you it's it's on and cracking i'm gonna be making it happen baby yeah, I'm, I'm tired of listening to it too don't worry you're not alone anyway that's where we're at i understand this whole thing of wavetable synths subtractive sim synths fm synthesis all this stuff i've got a little foundation now i can run a bunch of these plugins um I love the MPC, but it's it's over. I sold it. it it's not going to work for me. Um, this is what's going to be be the thing. It's going to be getting this battery thing where I need it to be. And. It's about key grouping it, too, so that when, when see it, this is set to one, and it's set to one voice. And then this is also one. And that means that whenever you play one of those four, if you're playing one, whenever you play another one, it shuts off whichever one was playing. You do the same thing with open hi-hat and closed hi-hat. So let's say we came here and we wanted to add an open hi-hat. Oh, let's go open hi-hat. I organized all my symbols. Yeah, we'll go like that, right? We go like this. Now if we take this and we key group this now to two, because key group one was the, uh, this, the synth, and then do this to, to two. In theory, yeah, see? That, that, that gets shut off, so you're, you're like... It, it gets that very herky-jerky thing. Anyway, this is so exciting to me. I can't even tell you how exciting this is. I can't even, it's just so exciting to get into this and, you know, I've been getting into splice and, and just learning, you know? So anyway, just hope everyone's okay. <laughs> Keyboard parts is really, really, it's, it, there's a finesse to it, right? We got a little of this going on, or this going on. Whatever. You get the gist. All right, so I'm going to end this video with this. You know, yesterday was my birthday. I got myself a birthday present. I got myself a membership to learn piano playground sessions. So this is a very cool, very cool thing, man. It's a little bit of Harry Connick Jr. It's basically learning piano and it, it, the way it's all set up is very cool and it came highly recommended. I've been kind of looking at this thing for a while. And you know what's amazing? You can call them and they answer their phone. And it's a bunch of dudes in New York answering the phone, which was really weird. 
because yesterday I was like having issues with figuring out like was, should I do this or not anyway so this weekend I start piano lessons on playground sessions and uh, you know, this is it man my world's expanding he's been depressed all of a sudden he can't do anything why are you depressed Alvy? tell Dr. Flicker it's something he read something you read huh the universe is expanding. The universe is expanding? Well, the universe is everything. And if it's expanding, someday it will break apart and that will be the end of everything. What is that your business? He stopped doing his homework. What's the point? What has the universe got to do with it? You're here in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is not expanding. It won't be expanding for billions of years yet, Alvie. And we've got to try and enjoy ourselves while we're here, huh? Huh? <laughs> and if I stop eating pizza, my waistline will stop expanding. Oh, I don't know if I can get it. Hold on. My waistline will stop expanding. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there's no symbol there. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> it's like... I am... I am, I am, Slim Shady. <laughs> oh, man. All I wanted to do was grow my hair long, drink beer, and play guitar. And now it's this. <laughs>